Brad Hopper. I'm the VP of Product Strategy for uh, TIPCO. We're going to introduce this concept of Augment Intelligence, which is the kind of tagline for the analytics portfolio of TIPCO. We're going to walk through our visual analytics, data wrangling, um, data science reimagined, streaming and cloud, hybrid cloud infrastructure topics. These days we've really kind of clarified that message and really the mission of the company down to these two concepts here, interconnect everything and augment intelligence. And interconnect everything, which I'm not going to spend uh, much time on um, today, is really the classic TIPCO integration, connectivity, SOA, business process management um, and API management. And Augment Intelligence is really that uh, portfolio of visual streaming and predictive analytics um, and that, I, that I mentioned a bit earlier. Uh, we like to put these three capabilities together, visual analytics, predictive analytics, and streaming analytics. Uh, we deliver recommendation-driven insights to business and operations, and we help our customers to model the behavior of their business or their systems, either on regular old data or big data, as the case may be. And finally, with streaming analytics, to take action and sense opportunities in the moment and um, take action on those opportunities. So if we drill down one layer from this kind of high-level characterization, within the visual analytics space, obviously people need to access data, they need to analyze the data, and we're introducing this term, maybe some of you have heard it or used it before, uh, wrangle the data. Um, then within predictive analytics, clearly people will build models, and then they might want to use those models to make predictions um, into the future. And with respect to streaming, um, let's imagine that you've built a predictive model and you've got a score of some kind, a propensity or a risk, and then you can apply some rules to that score and make a decision on an automated basis. And on the basis of that decision, perhaps take an action and finally monitor that whole system to continuously improve it. We believe that the immersive visual experience is a part of, should be a part of, both the data access and what other people call data preparation. Because that immersive experience is what gives you the opportunity to use your visual cortex and use your brain to, to look at the data, understand what you need, what you need to be doing with it. And if we roll it back up a level again, what is the purpose of all of this anyway? Right? You want to gain insight in order to take some action. But it's been quite rare that BI vendors actually help you take any action. Historically, it's more about, well, I'm going to gain some confidence in my information, therefore I can take an informed action, but I'm not going to actually help you take the action. So at TIPCO, we have a long history of connecting to infrastructure systems or connecting to business, business systems, and we're going to actually help you literally take the action, in many cases in an automated fashion, as educated by the learning and the modeling that's done by the humans. So the concept here is to connect connect smart people and smart systems in ways that really allow uh, that benefit to flow through the organization rapidly and decisively. We're not necessarily saying that you need to use all of that capability in order to gain a benefit. You can use actually any one of these um, capabilities independently, but it's also kind of nice to put them together into groups. So if you think about visual and predictive and how they might fit together, I've depicted it here, a cycle of learning, whereby you gain access to data, you munge, munge it around, maybe join other information, clean it up a little bit, calculate some new metrics, analyze the results, model, and then lather, rinse, repeat. Right. So the concept is that within the insight um, section, obviously this is an ongoing process, right? And then if you take the other half, or if you slice it a little bit differently and you take predictive and streaming together, if you've built a model that predicts an outcome, you can put that model into production and run an operational system that then can automatically make decisions, take actions, and then finally, of course, we want to make sure that we're not creating bad material at a high rate of speed. We want to you know, monitor the health of the situation and when necessary, remodel or you know, revise the way in which we, we put that system together. So now, the obvious thing happens in the slides, right? Uh, the concept here is that, as I explained earlier, insight and action should be um, tightly coupled but loosely integrated, if you will, right? So we want people to be able to work independently in any area of, of interest to them, but also facilitate for our customers that want to take it to the next level to be able to really completely um, execute their business digital transformation. So then the hypothesis here is that 
one platform that can take care of each of these capabilities but bring them together in a way that's highly intuitive and usable for the different communities that need to engage with this kind of technology. That's what we offer to the market. So a smart, unified, secure analytics experience that can be future-proof, that can help the, the organizations get started simply but then also take it as far as they want to go without running out of gas.